the New York City street tailor. Let me tell you the problem with her. And some of y'all didn't notice this, but there's a portion in the show from Business Insider called New York Street Tailor where she says, oh, I don't want to disrupt the other store's businesses, so, you know, I charge the same price as them. Okay, that's where you, we have, you know, we, we go our separate ways. So she just admitted she just admitted that she's charging the same price as the major retailers on the street. So she's not trying to undercut. So I wouldn't use her at all. Like me personally, I would not use her. Let me tell you why. Because she doesn't have the money invested at the same level as the big stores. So she's absorbing a tremendous amount of profit. Like she's she's gonna charge you twenty two dollars to him the pants, and this is gonna be the same price as the big stores on in New York. So that's why I would not use her, and I wouldn't I wouldn't anyone that I know we would intentionally not use her because. She should be about affordability and passing on a huge amount of savings to the consumer. You know, consumers that don't have the money to go pay, you know, high-end tailoring on those New York streets. She's the affordable option. But if you listen to the... If you listen to the program, you'll see her slip that in. She's like, oh, yeah, because I don't want to counter, be competitive with them, we, I charge the same price as they do. I would tell her to move. I'd be like, yeah, you need to, you need to move into a retail location. If you don't have the overhead and you want to absorb all that extra money as profit, uh-uh. So I think I think she's I think basically she's a capitalist that's making a lot of money off people and people are thinking that they're buying into a a good thing and they're not. I mean that's ridiculous. She's over there like, Oh yeah, I charge the same price as the big stores. It's like is that what people think when they see you tailoring on the street with your cart? She should be only about extreme affordability high consumer, high consumption pricing, Uh, like getting your pants in from her should be like $5, $6, like $5, $5, so that you'd have that ability and that option. You see what I'm saying? Now, what she's saying is, well, I don't want to do that because I'll just, everybody would come to me, and that's not true. She's just basically trying to get away. She's tried, she's come up with, her own original excuse to charge the same amount as, you know, the big box tailors there on New York's uh, street. And Business Insider, shame on them for not showing y'all that. When you go and watch it, it's called New York York, uh, NYC Street Tailor. You'll see, and you'll be like, "Oh, I see what he's saying." Yeah, she's she's wanting to charge this. She charges the same money as the the big stores, so that's a non-starter for me. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't participate. I wouldn't want to give her money at all.